Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another movie review. Now, this was originally going to be a Kelsey compares of the Lion King, comparing this from the animated one to the new one. But um, since then, I've been having some difficulties, and I felt like I don't think it's fair um, to like. Well, I I can still compare it, but it's not going to be like a Kelsey compares thing like I wanted to. Um, in a in another time, I will do one on Beauty and the Beast, and once I start watching the live action one again, but for now I'm just gonna just, you know, do a brief review of the um, live action Lion King and um, as a lot of you know who, who watch my channel all the time, I'm a massive Lion King fangirl. Um, the Lion King is like, the, like the original one, is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's the very first movie I've ever seen in my life and it means a lot to me and um, I'm one of those people who don't mind a couple of the live action Disney remakes. Um, even though I have not seen them all, um, I think the best one, in my opinion, is Cinderella. But this is the one I was, like, skeptical, but at the same time, kind of excited. Um, I remember seeing this, like, opening night, and, um, I know a lot of people don't like this one. I can understand the flaws with it, and, um, I'll explain, um, the best I can, um, with this one. And, um, probably compare it to some stuff that I think are better, or not as good as the original, but, um... You know, for what it is, I like this, um, like, the CGI, um, is kind of, like, very well done, and, um, people, I think there's still some people call this, like, the animated, um, Lion King, like, it's not really, like, a CGI fully animated, it's kind of like, well, the animals are all CGI, and, um, the only things live action are, I guess, the background stuff, so, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, it's, like, this movie kind of remind me of the film Dinosaur, um, I don't know if any of you remember that movie, it's from 2000, it's one of those Disney movies that nobody talks about that much, um, I remember when it first came out, and, um, you know, I liked to find when I was a kid, I remember seeing it in theaters, but it's like one of those movies that I don't think holds up that well, um, even though the technology since then has improved in almost 20 years since, so, like, the CGI in Dinosaur may look kind of dated, like, when you look at this now, it's kind of improved. And, um, the major, um, um, like, one of the major things that people had issues with this, um, live-action remake was, um, you know, they've done the same, they, you know, they've done the same story. It, it is, it is the same story as The Lion King. Some shots, um, like, some scenes are, like, scene by scene, shot by shot, and there's lines per lines. Like, basically, you know, you can, I can't even recite the whole original movie in my sleep, so it's almost like that. And... Not that many changes, um, so, like, 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 I expect this, um, like, from, like, like, how can you make the, a remake of The Lion King very different from the original, which is so iconic and so great? Um, I don't know, but, I don't know, maybe I love lions, I just love watching some lion footage, even though this is all CG. <clears throat> and a lot of you, um, know the story, it's very obvious, um, all of you guys know the story to The Lion King, um, and, um, yeah, so so officially it looks very stunning. Although I understand that not that not many, not everybody's gonna like this um, live action remake. So if you haven't seen this one and you prefer the original one, then you know it's your decision if you want to see this one or not. So um, let me try to figure out some like compare this um, to the original. Now um, you know Mufasa is once again voiced by James Earl Jones, and um, and I think like you know. The actors show more emotion in their voices than in the facial reactions on the anime, on you know, on the characters. I guess they make it like more realistic, but you know, I think it could have been much more powerful if um, they just you know use more facial expressions on the animals. Then I don't know. Like sometimes you can see a little bit of it, but it's not as strong as in the anime version where they had so much to do. Um, you know, so and um, the comic relief mainly the hyenas and Timon and Pumbaa. Um, I think they're done, they're done way better in the original. I remember seeing in the theaters, like, with, with the hyenas, especially Tomorrow and Puma, it got huge laughs in the theater, but, um, while it's not done horribly, I don't think it's as funny. I mean, the hyenas in the original anime one, you know, they're hilarious, and Tomorrow and Puma, hilarious as well. So, and, um, however, I think the weirdest thing I can, um, like, compare this is, is um, the live-action version of Nala to the animated one. I think, you know, Beyonce, like, I have no problem with her as an actress. She's not great, but I don't know. I always, I always liked her in 
in the Austin Powers 3 movie as Foxy Cleopatra. I think that's her best thing she was in. Um, but, you know, a lot of people are more a fan of her ever singing, like, of her music. I am too, but I don't know. Like, her acting could be hit and miss stuff, but I thought the Nile character was a little more developed. Um, and I don't mind the um, original Nile character in the... So I, I think I like them both, but this one I felt like, I don't know, more developed and, um, I mean, it's because you see the one scene where Nala leaves Pride Rock to go search for help, and then she runs into Simba, you know. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the one thing I was having a problem with, the reason why I couldn't do a Kelsey comparison of this, is, um, like, comparing the Scar, comparing Scar, like, from the animated one to this one, I don't remember who does the voice of Scar, like, he did a decent job, but, um... Like, when you think of Scar, you think of Jeremy Irons, you know, he, he was funny, he was intimidating, and, uh, you know, so, so it felt like to me it's not fair to compare, um, like, say, this Scar in this movie is much better than the animated one. You know, you don't, um, like, think of, think Scar, you think of more evil and stuff, and this, and this Scar in this movie is kind of, like, more evil, but, um, Jeremy Irons gave such, like, a real fun performance, and the Be Prepared music, uh, music, music number was... No, like there, you know, there's be prepared in the song in this um in this um remake, but you know of course the anime was done much better, and um the character Simba uh, that's, I don't know, um, like I like the character Simba in the original and um kind of I feel like both actors did a decent, there's some decent voice acting in this movie, and um so, but like like visually stunning looks really nice, um like I like I said the CGI's like very well done um and i felt like when there's good when the i heard there's going to be a live action remake of bambi i don't know if it's going to be by the same people but who knows what they're going to do with it um but hopefully you know disney you know they heard the complaints with this one that people have with this one and maybe maybe make the the make the live action bambi movie much better but you know you can't you can't hold a candle to the original like you're always going to watch the originals back anyway um, but for what I've, what I've gotten from this one, um, it's a, it's a decent watch. Um, do I like the original movie much better? Yes. I even said this before, that the original movie is much better. Um, because I felt like, you know, it's more dramatic, and, um, you know, there's some parts that could have been improved in this one, but I, I don't think there was anybody who went into this movie expecting it to like it better than the original anime one, so. And, um, I mentioned about Rafiki. Um, I think the version of Rafiki, um, in the anime one's much more funnier, so, I don't know. <clears throat> so, um, if, um, if you're interested in seeing the live-action Lion King, um, like, and if, if you're, um, like, thinking this is, like, the best one, I think my, like, I think the best live-action remake, in my opinion, is Cinderella, but, I don't know, I wouldn't put this, like, at number, like, the, the highest, but probably in the, I don't know, in the bottom, I don't say the bottom five, because I love the Lion King, it's just, and um, the, the like the leading hyena in this um, the female one was much more evil, while in the um, original animated one is is more more is more kind of relief. But you know, there's some stuff that I like about the um, live action one, but the original one, you know, you can't you know you can't top that. So um, that's basically just my opinion on the live action Lion King. Not much to say. Um, it is the same story. Some lines are, you know, repeats of the original, and uh, same same thing with a lot of the scenes and the shots. But I don't know, it's something I would pop on occasionally. But I rather watch, you know, The Lion Guard more than this, and the original Lion King anime movie. You know, you can't erase that from history. So um, I like to know what you think of the live action Lion King movie. Um, do you think it's better than the original, or do you just hate it? Because I can understand both ways. It's just, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Um, like, like, I know the Disney live-action remakes are getting a bad rep these days, but I don't know. And, um, if, if Mulan ever comes out, um, you know, probably, that would be the one, probably be the best one. One of the best ones, I don't know, but this one I can understand, but, like, why people have issues with it, but I don't know. It's just, I just, I know I'm probably going to get some flack for liking this movie, but, you know, you can't be, again, you can't beat the original animated one. You just can't. So this is my, um... My discussion, what I thought about the um, the live action remake of The Lion King, 
And um, so I couldn't do a calcium comparison. It's just too difficult. I was just um, trying to figure out um, the best way to describe this movie. You know, it's hit and miss, I guess. But go watch the original one. So um, thank you so much for watching this review of the live-action Lion King. And I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.